Hello and welcome. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be changing the uh, oil filter housing gasket. Um, I'm not sure if I can show you. Um, I'm having a major leak over there. Um, in Pretty sure it's because of that housing. Uh, it's leaking really bad and have a lot of drops underneath the car. Um, I'm gonna try to film the whole process. Um, basically, we have to remove the intake boot. Um, we'll have to loosen and move out of the way the uh, uh, power steering reservoir. And then we'll have to remove the actual uh, oil filter housing and we'll have to remove um, the alternator and you know obviously you have to remove the belt too. There's a bolt. I'll show you. Hmm. You might not be able to see it. Well, there's a bolt like somewhere right, actually, right there. Yeah, right there. See that bolt where the light is? That bolt actually, if you tight it, it will loosen uh, the tension on the belt and you know uh, get a ratchet and just tight it and the whole belt will be loosened and you can just go in there and then grab it and pull it out of the way. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove the alternator. We start by removing the uh, uh, wires uh, then we'll remove the bolts. I believe there is a big bolt right here this guy, you see that? Uh, it goes up over here and you have to remove that plastic uh, cover. Before you disconnect the alternator, go ahead and disconnect your battery because you don't want to mess with the electric system. Um, and also, this guy right here, uh, it's a, a really, really, really long bolt. This guy. goes in here and this is a 16 millimeter All right. okay after disconnecting uh, the wire uh, there's uh, another bolt there's a another long bolt in here this guy right here um, uh, it was a 13 millimeter disconnect that one then disconnect the um, um, negative uh, wire and it has a, a 17 and then like a hard plastic not holding it just disconnect this and pull it back okay it looks like there's another 16 millimeter down here
out of washer too. All right, now we're gonna remove the two uh, 13 millimeter that holds the uh, oil filter housing. All right, this guy right here, it's down there. Okay, now I removed all the bolts. Uh, I'm gonna try to rock this thing out of the way. See what happens. Uh, I guess we gotta remove that 17 millimeter uh, banjo bolt. So we'll do that and come back. Oh, so this one was a 19 millimeter, which I don't have, so I'm just gonna use this guy. Try this one more time. Yeah. Looks like we're disconnected. Oh, mother. Hmm. And I can see the gasket in here. It's completely flushed. That's why it was leaking down there. So now I'm just gonna clean up everything in here and then replace the gasket and clean it up and put everything back in it's just basically everything back in reverse all right guys went ahead and cleaned everything in here cleaned um, all of them between in here 
Um, these are uh, the bolts. That's how I line it up so that put them back in order. And this is the old gasket. Look at that. This thing is completely brittle. Uh, it's like prom bolts. <laughs> See that? And then uh, this is the new one. Very pliable. Uh, I guess this is the part number. I'm assuming, oh, uh, I guess this is right here. Uh, this is the part number 11421719855. Um, and uh, it's uh, Victor Reigns. Uh, it's really cheap. I got it from eBay for like $9, including um, oil filter. A man old oil filter uh, with the washer and everything. Pretty good deal. Alright. I'm gonna try to put everything back in. in place now I'm just gonna put the bolts back in and then put the uh, alternator back in uh, the oil uh, the power steering reservoir and then um, put the belt back in and that's it all right so I just got finished putting everything back in. Um, everything normal. Just put it back the way it was. Uh, two bolts for the uh, power stair reservoir. Um, all the other six bolts. Two bolts on the side. It goes this way for uh, power stair pump. Um, the belt. Now. I said in the beginning that you don't have to take the shroud out um, in order to you know loosen the belt but to put it to put it back on um, I didn't take the whole thing out I loosened the uh, fan uh, took the uh, plastic rivet to from here and here and loosen the fan Pulled it out a little bit. Not even, I didn't even disconnect the the houses from the bottom or anything. Um, I took out this one and pushed it out of the way, and just pulled it a little bit, and then put the belt back on the pulleys. Um, I followed uh, like a diagram, pulled it up one line, and then just put it back like the way it was. Um, you know, you have to push on the tensioner. Put the uh, the belt back on. That's the last thing you want to do. You know, route the whole belt until you get to the tensioner, and just push it, and then put it back in. It's really easy, um, and you know, you can't do it wrong because if you do, it'll, the belt will be loose. You know, <laughs> so yeah, um, <clears throat> everything back on normal. Start the car. Uh, sounds okay um, last thing I want to do is check for any oil dripping uh, tomorrow um, I'll just look underneath and see uh, I might have some dripping from uh, the uh, power steering uh, oil reservoir because I know it's leaking um, but not that much that gasket was I mean it, it, it was a mess. I mean, it was making uh, like a, an oil fall in here. You know, you know. So, videos. Um, I'm going to be putting a new bumper in here. Uh, I just got to finish uh, sanding it. And I'm going to take it to uh, the paint shop. They're going to paint it for me. Because when I bought the car, uh, this is a 2002. 530 
and it had an old bumper on it. Uh, it looks like from a 528. Uh, not only that, it's it's cracked and uh, it's hit loose in here. Um, I mean, yeah, this looks awful. So I just gotta go. Uh, I'm gonna put a you know this bumper. I pulled it out of the 2002. 525 which is exactly the same I have all the other uh, hardware assembly basically somewhere in here uh, just gonna paint it put it back on put it back in the car uh, I'm gonna make a video about it thank you guys